Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going to be on my very first, I don't know why I always do stuff like that, my very first Ipsy Glam Bag Plus. So now that the general public is able to get these guys, actually it's probably been out for a while, I'm honestly not entirely sure when. I just know like when they first came out with the box, only a certain amount of people were able to get them and then they slowly started to make it so like more and more people can get them and now you can get a subscription to Ipsy without having to already have had one basically because I think for a while it was like only people that were subscribed for a certain amount of time or that already were getting bags basically. So um, I don't know exactly like what the rules were on it but I realized that I could get it now and I instead of getting the bag now I'm gonna get the box and I'm pretty excited so this is my very first one so it's the one for the month of May and I looked ahead to see what I was getting because I'm impatient and I like to know these things so I'm gonna show you guys what I got in the box and then we're gonna use them and these first things that I'm gonna talk about I'm the most excited for this <laughs> And it's going to be really interesting doing it on camera, so hopefully it's entertaining. <laughs> but, um, so the first thing I got was these Glam Glow Bubble Sheet Masks. So it's these sheet masks and they bubble. From my understanding, I think they like foam, they might foam on the inside, like underneath the mask. And then also on the outside, I'm honestly not entirely sure. But you get three of them and I'm excited. I mean, Glam Glow is... Obviously, it's a luxury brand, and it's really exciting getting their products in here because I've honestly only ever tried, like, sample sizes and stuff like that, like, of their products before, um, just because they are on the pricier end of things, but I've tried a couple of their masks, and from what I tried, I really, really liked them, so I'm super excited to try these guys here. And then I'm gonna just read what this little card says. So it comes with a card, and it, like, folds out, which is pretty handy. And it tells you about the product, I believe it tells you how much it is, and yeah, so these here are $27 for three of them, which it already makes like the price of the box like worth it, so it's $25 a month for one of these boxes versus $10 for how much the bags were or how much they are, because I still have them, but I decided I didn't need both, um, that I would just try the box out first, and if I felt like going back to having the bag as well than I would. But anyways, so yeah, the box is $25 a month. These sheet masks are $27. So you're already getting your money's worth basically and it's just gonna keep adding up with all of these other products that I have in here, which is exciting. But anyways, so this is a charcoal infused sheet mask. They describe it as a mini bubble bath for your face. So I'm excited. I don't know. I've I've literally been waiting a couple days since I got this to try them on camera because I felt like it would just be like a better experience to be able to do that. So I'm really excited to try these. So anyways, these are supposed to, on here it says detoxify, purify, all that fun stuff. Leave you with a glowy complexion, which, you know, is cool, but let's see what it says on the back. So, deeply purifies skin in just three minutes, and then it just walks through all of the different things that are in this mask. Tingling 3D bubble experience. I literally just wanna do this like right now. So, I'm gonna keep going on to everything else. I'm going to show you guys what I got and then we'll go back and try everything. I think that's a good way to do it. Honestly, I haven't done one of these videos before, so I'm not entirely sure. You know what? I'm just going to I'm just going to try this cuz I really want to try this. So, this is the first thing that I have in this box and we're going to go ahead and just try it. And I'm just going to say this cuz it's kind of weird. Um have your guys' hair ever been like so soft? Like so soft, you can't even like put it up, right? Like, so I go and I go to put it up, whatever, it can just be super messy, and then it just doesn't, it just doesn't want to lay right. Like, no matter what I do, it's just not, not hanging out the way I want it to. And eventually it'll just like fall completely, like it just fall. So, that's fun. Okay, so unfold mask dampen face 
place onto the face, aligning with the eyes, nose, and all of that fun stuff. And you leave it on for three minutes. So I'm going to go ahead and go to the bathroom and put this on. I'm going to come back, going to document what it looks like, and then we'll go from there. I will be back and probably more beautiful than I am now. Okay. <laughs> so I look beautiful. <laughs> oh my god, I can't even take myself seriously. This is like bubbling everywhere and I'm probably gonna get in, in my mouth and die or something. But I'm supposed to have this on for like three minutes. So I'm gonna say I probably already had it on for like, mm, like I don't know, maybe like a minute. <laughs> I just like... It's like literally like dripping all over the place. Oh my god. All right. So this is what it looks like <laughs> right now. I'll show you guys what it looks like at the end before I take it off because <laughs> I've literally like <laughs> I can't even take myself seriously. Okay. This is so funny. <laughs> like Vogue right now. I'm gonna come back once it's been three minutes to show you guys what this thing what this looks like. Oh. Oh, who the heck are you? Right. Is that part of your video? Yeah. Oh I can't wait. I can't wait. I'm FaceTiming you and I'm filming right now, so what's up? I can't even. Like oh, thank you. No, what the? <laughs> no, I totally do. Okay, I just wanted to show you. I love you. Bye. <laughs> I just FaceTime Dean because he needed to see this. This is the end of the mask. This is strictly for science, just so you guys can see this. Okay, I probably didn't like pull this up high enough, but it literally kept like drooping down. Literally. <laughs> Like, hold on, you can't see that. Bubbles everywhere. Like, I actually have bubbles. This is <laughs> insane. So yeah, it just keeps kind of like sliding off of my face. But it's been three minutes, so I'm gonna take it off. And I think you just like rub in like what's left and then you wash your face off. So I'm gonna take this off on camera. <laughs> like, oh my god, look. Look at how insane insanely like bubbly this got okay so there's that like <laughs> I look like I did one of those like foam runs or something so I'm assuming I just do this we'll go down my chin we won't go like super far down just because I'm wearing a sweatshirt this <laughs> is insane um but it kind of feels amazing so I'm okay with it all right so, I'm going to go wash this off, and I'm going to show you guys the rest of the stuff in my box. So, got the mask off. My skin just feels, like, super soft right now. My, I don't know why, like, when you, <laughs> I'm a fool, but, like, after a mask, you just, like, go like this, and you're, like, feeling your face, you're like, yes, this is beautiful. Um, <laughs> anybody else do that, or am I the only one? <laughs> because I might be crazy. I don't know. Anyways, my face feels super clean. I love like masks like that where you can feel like something. Like that wasn't, I've done bubble masks before and that wasn't like, some of them are kind of irritating because it's just like so much that it's like kind of like, I'm ticklish so like it kind of tickles you or it's just like itchy and kind of weird. Just like it gets uncomfortable for a while. But, and that might do that, like, if you kept it on longer than three minutes, but that's the other thing that I like. It's only a three-minute mask, so you just put it on, and then you're good. Like, it's nice and clean, and you basically just wash your face with what's left on there. I mean, you saw all of the, like, bubbles and stuff, so you just, from what I understood, you just, like, lather your face, and then you rinse it off. And, yeah, your face feels, like, super clean, and I'm sad now that I only have two of these because I really enjoyed this mask, and, like I said, I really, like, appreciate something that, like, you can feel, like, you can feel it cleaning your face. I guess that kind of, like, you feel it working, basically, and then you also, like, you know, you're, you could feel it afterwards, too. Like, my skin just feels, like, 
really really nice now like like really nice <laughs> but yeah I I really enjoyed these and I'm sad and excited that I still have two more like sad that I only have two more but like I don't know I'm I'm impressed I, I like this I mean I kind of knew I would be that's why I was so excited for it but I mean yes I approve <laughs> Now, I'm going to go do my eyebrows and we're going to work with the rest of the stuff in the box. Um, I basically, I don't have like stuff for a full face necessarily. I have a primer and some complexion stuff and a palette and some lip, lip liners. So I was going to go on lipsticks. I'm going to do my eyebrows and I will be right back. Okay, so the next thing I have, and I'm just going to go in order of like what I'm going to be applying basically. So the next thing I have is, I believe this brand, oh geez, <sighs> me and pronouncing things. I'm going to say they're pronounced Yensa. I don't know. <laughs> Correct me if I'm wrong. Um, but this is it. So this is a primer. I couldn't think of the words. So this is the primer here. I've actually never heard of this brand before, but apparently, well, I guess every brand in here is like a high-end brand for the most part. So this primer is the Tone Up Primer Essential Glow. So you can either use it as a primer or they say that you can use it on its own just for like a really like... I'm not going to say like a light coverage, but if you're just doing, let's see, hold on. Um, smooth evenly over skin before makeup to increase the staying power of your favorite foundation or skip the makeup altogether and use the primer as a final step to your skincare routine. I guess it could be like a moisturizer in the sense that usually that's like the last thing that you would put on your face. So they claim that you could wear it just for those no makeup days. Basically, I don't think it actually gives you any coverage. I'm not entirely sure. So basically, it's claiming to give you luminous skin and both while you're bare faced, so no makeup at all, or to give you that like nice glowy look underneath your makeup, basically. Let me see if this has any other shades. I don't believe it does. So it says, smooth the thin layer over clean, moisturized skin and let sit for 15 seconds and then apply. Oh, then apply their foundation for even coverage. So basically just primer. We'll see if I like this. It's a glowy primer. I'm not going to put this anywhere other than basically my cheeks. So I'm going to use that amount. Hopefully that's enough. Beautiful faces. Yeah, it definitely makes you glowy. So if that's that's your thing, you will probably really like this. It's a little sticky too. But yeah, so let it sit for 15 seconds and then apply other things. So that brings me, and I'm doing this kind of in the not order that I normally would. Kind of saving the eyeshadow for last. So we'll see if I regret it. So this next thing is, so it's the Nude Sticks Nudies Tinted Blur in Light 3. So this... I swatched on my hand and I feel like it's definitely not going to be the right color for me. Even just looking at it, looking at it here. One, I definitely thought it was going to be too light, but I think the undertone's going to be kind of off. This looks like it's going to be really warm, but then when I put it on my hand, it looked really cool tones, like very pink. Um, so we'll see. Normally I go for neutral undertones. I do have more of a warm undertone I guess but I don't necessarily like to use super warm makeup on my face if I'm already like warm undertone and then I saw something about the veins in your arms like if you are if you have more green veins like if they look more green so like in this like in here um, if it looks more green, then you are more warm toned slash pos possibly neutral. And then if it's more blue, then you're cool toned, which I thought was pretty interesting because my veins definitely look more green most of the time. But yeah, I don't know. So, and I literally, like, I always thought I was cool toned, and this is going to sound ridiculous, because I was pale. And then I realized that I wasn't. So, there's that. <laughs> Anyways, so... This tinted blur stick. I was actually really excited to get this too. I've never used this brand before. Um, so this product retails for $30. So again, so far this box 
those two things are $57 for both of them, so the masks and then this. $57 versus a $25 box, this is already a steal. So this little info card says, Snapchat filters are cool, but this nude stick's blurring stick minimizes the appearance of pores, blemishes, fine lines, and skin texture in real life. Okay. <laughs> The Light Reflecting Cream to Powder Mineral Formula gives you a soft matte glow as the shade adjusting pigments blend with your skin tone. So let's see how I'm supposed to use this. Start by swiping onto major areas like forehead, cheek, chin, nose, and gently blending outward in a tapping motion with your fingers. Wear it alone for light coverage on no makeup days or as a primer under foundation. We'll see how much coverage this gets me, and if this color is completely off, we'll probably use it as a primer as well, on top of what we've already used. So, I need a freaking mirror. I don't know where- there it is, I found it. Yeah, this is a barely showing up on my face. Here, let's zoom you guys in. Yeah, it still looks pretty, pretty peachy. Gently blending outward in a tapping motion with your fingers. So, I guess like this. I mean, if you were going for like a really light coverage, I feel like this would look actually pretty good with that other primer and this. I'm gonna just apply more just to see if this would be something like realistically like that I would actually wear as like, well it's not a foundation, but if this would be my only like complexion product basically. Hopefully I'm doing this right. Okay, hopefully I got everything, but, okay, so this is what my face, I mean, there's basically, it's like little to no coverage, to be honest. I mean, from here, I don't think it looks bad. I mean, I would, okay, I would go out of the house like this, maybe I would just do a little bit of spot concealing and then do some highlight and some bronzer and stuff kind of dress it up a little bit more definitely doesn't look bad but i don't know i could see this being like a no makeup makeup look still not the amount of coverage that i would want so probably would take like a concealer and do spot concealing you can really see like my texture and my redness through this. I think overall, like even with the primer, I feel like my skin looks good, but it doesn't really give you much coverage, so I'm probably gonna add something on top of this for the end of the video, just because I just don't think it's enough. I mean, I don't know, I'm so torn because I feel like it looks good. Like look at that, look at that glow from that primer though. Like if you like glowy stuff, this, this is pretty impressive, and I didn't even, I feel like I didn't even put that much on. I mean, I wasn't going to use it all over my face. But yeah, I mean, I think that's a really pretty, like, natural looking glow, which is nice. And then with this nude sticks, the tinted blur stick, I mean, I think, I think this looks good. I'm interested to see what it looks like using all of these products. So... The next thing I have is this palette from Wander Beauty. It's the Seascape palette. It's this here. Super cute packaging. Never used any of their products before. And then here is the palette. Let's see if I could get this to... There we go. So really pretty. This is like the only matte shade. Um, it's, I don't even think it's completely like matte either. It looks like it's kind of a little shimmery. But that looks like the only transition shade, really. I mean, it's a cute little palette. It retails for $25. So it's obviously, it's ocean inspired, which I think is super cute. Super, like, on theme for the fact that it's going to be summer soon. So, yeah, I mean, I think it's cute. Would it necessarily be something that I would buy? Probably not. But, I mean, I haven't even tried it yet, so I can't even say that I wouldn't buy it because... You know, I haven't even tried it yet. So, I'm going to swatch this out for you guys. I'm just going to do it really, really fast. Actually, you know what? I'm, I'm doing this one. 
So this first shade is called Champagne Harbor. It's really pretty. And the next shade is Sea Salt. I need to paint my nails. So Sea Salt, I think that color is super gorgeous. Kind of want to use that. Or maybe I want to use this shade. I don't know. I'm torn. Hold on. Let's see. So this one. Oh, that's pretty. Still leaning to that, like, pinky shade, though. Um, so this one that I just swatched is Golden Reef. And then this next one is Sand Dollar. So this is the more matte transition shade. That was a really easy swatch. And then this next one is Seafoam. Oh, it's really pretty, too. A little bit of a green tint to it but not not super super apparent and then this also is this blue shade is coastal super not mm, this is actually really pretty that is really pretty it wasn't swatching out the best um but overall i mean this is a really pretty palette very simple but still like really nice and then you can have this blue for more of a pop of color um, which is perfect for summertime. I'll just show you those. Yeah, these are gorgeous. Really liking, sorry, this one here. And the blue one. We'll see what I'll do though. So we're going to go into that transition shade of Sand Dollar. And let's just do this. So just patting that in. Sometimes I forget to say like what I'm actually doing. I'm debating if I just want this to be like my my lid shade and then kind of pop a color in the middle of it. Nah, we won't do that. Actually, yeah, we're gonna do that. So this is basically gonna just go all over the lid. Okay, so I'm gonna take what was left of that first brush we started using and then just kind of blend out the like the edges of it. And then I just need to put like a tiny bit more on the lid. Okay, so I think I need to like pockets on my eyelids always make it look like I'm not blending out and I am but whatever okay and then I think I'm gonna take the champagne harbor color but I think what I'm gonna do I think I'm gonna take a little bit of my NYX which my call it glitter primer and then just to give it like a really tacky base and then just kind of put that in the middle of my eyelid and what I'm gonna do is take that champagne harbor color and then just pop that in like right there just to give it ooh that was way more pigmented than I thought it would be way more pigmented <laughs> I was going for like a really sheer there we go just to make it really soft just like a really soft amount of shimmer in the middle. I'm just going back in with the sand dollar shade that I still have. Whatever I still have left on the brush that I was using. Okay, I'm just going to take a little bit more of the... Champagne Harbor shade. So just give it like a very kind of okay. So it gives you like that kind of spotlight look, and then again, just still going in with that sand dollar shade. But yeah, so when you have the that sand dollar, no, sorry, the Champagne Harbor shade in there, it just kind of brightens it up a little bit. It's kind of like a mini halo spotlight eye without cutting it out. I've done this on my channel before. Um, I think what I want to do is just put a little bit of the Golden Reef color in with it. And then again, in the, like closer to the inner corner, 
just to make it like really nice glowy without being super intense but as I could I mean as you can see I'm going back in with the champagne harbor shade um but as you can see those shadows are super pigmented um especially with that NYX primer I'm just making it just like really really light perfect and then I'm gonna get a brush and just do a little bit on the inner corner of that champagne harbor shade just a nice little glow okay and then I want to do put that coastal shade in just a tiny bit this is like a pop of color. Honestly, I'm not liking that. I'm not liking that at all. So, hmm. Yeah, I'm gonna take it off. I'm gonna remove that coastal shade. Yeah, 100%. I'm gonna remove that and then I'll come back. Actually, I think I'm gonna remove it and then do the other eye and then I'll come back. Okay, so while I'm waiting to do a second coat on my eyelashes. I'm gonna do something spicy. Very spicy. I'm gonna take that Champagne Harbor shade and use it as a highlight. Actually, I'm gonna use a brush too, I think. That was, that was a good idea. <laughs> Hold on. Using that using that as a highlight was actually a pretty good idea. Like, I'm proud of myself. <laughs> yeah, see, that was a good idea. I don't know why I needed to do that face. So yeah, that was that was a good idea. I'm I'm proud of that. So I'm gonna do a little bit more mascara and then we'll finish up this video. Okay. So the next thing that I have honestly I wasn't super excited for these, and I'm still not. I believe this brand is, oh god, El Um, Yeah, I'm not even going to try it. So this brand right here, so I got two lip liners from them. So the first one, I don't even think it has the shade on here. I don't even have a box anymore, so let me see what it is. Okay, so it's the Lust and Media Lip Pencil. I don't know what one is what, and let me see. Okay, so I do have, I totally do have the boxes still. Crap. Um, it doesn't actually say, like, I don't think it actually even says, like, what one's what. Mm, I don't know, one of them is Lust and one of them is Media. I have no idea. What one is what? I'm trying to find... Okay. I'm, I'm silly. I found it. <laughs> so the pink one... Um, so this one here is media. I'm swatching it on the back of my hand. So that's the shade here. And then the other one is lust. So it's a more like red. So it's the one underneath it. So, and then these are what, well, now they're not really sharp anymore because I literally just swatched them. But this is Lust, and then this one is Media. I don't really use lip liners all that often. I just feel like these are going to be something that get kind of lost in my makeup. So, mm, I don't know. I just don't know how I feel about them. But... For the sake, oh, by the way, and the price for these guys, um, and I don't remember if I said what the price was for this palette, but the price for this palette is $25, and then the price for these lip liners, they're $21 each, each, <laughs> so, yeah, I would never, like, I probably, I don't think I've ever spent $21 on a lip liner before, um, not to say that I wouldn't, because, you know, maybe I would. But that's that's a lot for a lip liner. Alright, so I think what I'm going to do is just take this red one and kind of try to like blot it out a little bit. 
And if that doesn't work, then I'll try the pink one. So we're gonna try Lust. I mean, yeah, we'll just we'll just try the pink one. I wanted to do just like a really muted lip with this because I don't really have, well, I have a few things that I could go with, but this look is just very like muted anyways. I guess I could go with more of a bold lip, but this is just very like soft and kind of beachy, no makeup makeup sort of look going on, which is kind of the general vibe that I'm getting from this palette, just from the makeup part of it at least. I think I got everything off, I hope, let's see. I was trying to do like definition in my lips and I feel like Let's see. Mm, I guess that could be worse. I think what I'm going to do... So at first I was trying to kind of use it as like a true like lip liner. I'm going to take it off again. And then what I'm going to do, and I probably should have... I obviously, like I should have done this the first time. I'm just going to kind of... I'm going to explain it. Just kind of put more of the product in the center of my lip. And then kind of like pat it out. And then... Um, that way it gets more of like a blotted, like. And then kind of just even that out. Just for like a very subtle wash of color, basically. I think I need to just add a little bit of this here because I've got, got a lip liner. And I've taken some of the coverage off in this area from changing the lips so much. It's kind of an interesting coverage. I don't know if I... I'm just afraid of putting too much. Making it too... I don't know. Just too pigmented. Because I really don't... I don't want it to be super pigmented. I think that would be like a really pretty like summer lip though. Like... I actually do think that's really pretty. I want to go in. I'm going to just make sure that I have that like blended. But I'm going to go in a little bit with that Champagne Harbor shade. And just get that Cupid's bit a little bit better. I'm going to take a tiny bit of the Fenty Beauty Gloss Balm. Just a tiny bit of it. Alright, so we're zoomed in. Ooh, I saw that swatches all over me. We're zoomed in here to the final. Just kidding, Dean. Alright, so this is the finished look with all of the products. Very, very minimal, but I feel like this kind of has a theme of kind of more lighter makeup. I mean, it doesn't, it's not always going to be a full face or anything, but I feel like the theme is kind of more like lighter makeup, probably more geared towards like those summer months and everything. So I think that this look definitely gives you that. Um, I didn't really want to put lashes on or anything right now. Um, I feel like with the amount of coverage um, from that stick that I got and I just I did use a little bit of my concealer um, just to kind of give me a little more coverage. Um, I wanted to keep it fairly simple. I feel like this yeah this would be a pretty good like summer look. Um, I'd probably do more coverage at least. I feel like the BB cream and stuff that I use gives me a little bit more than what I got today. But you know, overall, I mean, overall I think this is pretty. I really like that shadow as a highlight. The nude stick, I think I just have to look into it more. Um, maybe I should have tried to use it more as a primer. Um, I just didn't get that much coverage out of it. I mean, I do think my skin looks good overall right now, but I don't know. I'm just, I'm going to have to use it a little bit more and maybe just kind of look into like exactly how it's supposed to be applied. Maybe I did something wrong. Um, maybe there was like a better way to apply it. I mean, looking at it now, like I feel like my complexion looks good. Um, I definitely don't have like a lot of coverage, which, you know, on some days is totally fine. 
but this primer is actually pretty impressive um, I definitely would recommend it to anyone who has like who wants a really glowy look I mean you can see in my cheekbones still I mean obviously I'm using that ooh, that wasn't blended out that well after I put the primer on you can see that it definitely gave me like a glowy like look which is nice and that's really pretty especially in the summer um, and if that's your thing, then that's definitely, this would be a really good primer for those who really like a glowy, glowy look. I definitely, I do see myself using this. And for, I mean, the price, I don't think I would have, you know, I've never heard of this brand before. I'm not sure if I ever would have bought it, like, for the $35, like, without having it in the box first. Like, maybe after I use this, um, it will encourage me to buy another one. I definitely am interested in... This primer and we'll probably use it again. Well, definitely we'll use it again. Um, as far as the Nude Sticks Blur Stick goes, I need to figure out how to use it. I'm intrigued. I mean, with this and the primer, I think it did look good. Um, it just maybe wasn't exactly what I was expecting it to be. I think I was expecting like a full coverage from it. And that's definitely not what this is. Or not like a full cut. I don't know how, I don't even know how to explain like what I was thinking it was. But it definitely wasn't what I was thinking. Okay, so the next thing to talk about is this palette. This one here. I've never used this brand before. I wasn't, I didn't have any problems with it. I just don't know how many times I'm gonna like reach for this. I don't know. I just, I wasn't super, super impressed by it. I mean... I think the shades that I used looked gorgeous. I mean, they applied pretty easy. But for such a small palette, I don't really, and like with barely any transition shades, I just don't really see myself like, you know, go like grabbing for it, I guess. Like, I just don't. I don't know. I'm definitely open to using it again and trying it, but I just don't know how much I'm actually going to use it just because I feel like I have a million palettes with the neutral like shimmer shades and then the blue and the pinky shade would probably be the only ones that are more intriguing. I mean that seafoam, I don't know. I guess I just need to use it more. I'm just curious to see how much I actually would be reaching for this. I mean it did, like I said, it did apply fine but um, I just I'm not super intrigued by it so I'm curious to see how much I would actually reach for this but I mean that shade made a pretty good highlight so not mad about that and then the other things these lip liners I'm just not really the person to give lip liners to like not gonna use them that often I mean sure I think it I think what I used or how I used it today definitely served its purpose of trying them and you know, seeing how I liked everything, but I really don't know if I'll really be reaching for these that often. I mean, and I was already, I already had like a kind of like, I wasn't really interested in them in the first place because I just don't really use these kind of products that often. So, of course, yeah, I'm gonna, I'm willing to try like everything more, but I just don't really use lip liners that often, so as far as like functionality goes for me, it's not really there. Um, the one thing that I really did like is the Glam Glow sheet masks, and I I love those. Like I think that's my favorite thing out of this box. Um, and then I think the second thing would probably be this primer. It actually, yeah, I, I definitely will use this primer again. Um, I don't normally go for glowy products and I think it looks nice so I'm excited to try it with like a full coverage foundation. Um, I'm definitely going to try this Nude Sticks um, Tinted Blur Stick again. I don't know I'm just I'm so torn because I like I like the way that my complexion looks but I don't like it at the same time. I think it's just because I was expecting something else and um, yeah I don't know. But I'm definitely going to try it again and see how I feel about it and kind of look at more videos on how other people apply it and see and go from there. Um, I'm still excited that I got the chance to try it, so I'm definitely happy about that. I still think that my favorite things were the masks, so, you know. But overall, I mean, this definitely, you pay $25 a month and this definitely was 
definitely had a good value as far as how expensive these products normally are. Um, and then I can do the math to, to see, let me bring out my calculator because I can't do thing, do math in my brain. So the nude sticks is $30 retail. The eyeshadow palette was $25. The lip liners are $21 each. The primer is $35 and the masks are 27 so this total value for this box is 159 dollars so it's definitely worth it i mean if you're thinking as far as like value and how much everything costs you pay 25 dollars for this box and it was 159 dollars worth of product in the box um, overall, I'm happy with it. I did look at the, um, so Ipsy allows you to like look at things or the other things that other people are getting. There were a couple things that I probably would have preferred to get one of those versus getting some of the things that I got in this box. Like there was a face oil and there was like a mascara that I probably would have preferred to get. Um, I think there was even like a facial cleanser or something. Um, I really like skincare in these boxes, so I definitely would have liked more of that versus what I actually got, but I mean, I love those masks, so I definitely love the skincare part of it. Um, I wish you, I know it would be too hard to be able to like pick it out yourself out of the available products, but I really wish that you were able to do that, and I like understand that like why you wouldn't be able to do that because I'm sure people would all want the same things and it would sell out and then people would get upset that they couldn't get it and all of that stuff. I definitely wish I could have like switched out the lip liner. That's the main thing I think I would have switched out. I probably would have kept everything because I was excited for the palette. Originally I've never tried this brand so I was excited for that. Um, just thinking about it now like having it like actually physically having it now I'm kind of like I don't really like I don't need it I could have yeah I don't know mm -hmm. I don't know how I feel about it I think if I could have switched this and then the lip liners I would have really really liked the box but I'm definitely gonna try this more I mean it's not that I didn't like it I just I think I was more excited for it than I actually ended up being once I got it then I was kind of like hmm but the lip liners for sure I would have switched out for like that face oil that was in the box um if I could have done that but of course you're not able to do that which is totally understandable but overall this definitely is worth the $25 a month I'm excited to see what comes next month um I always look ahead to see what I'm getting so the second I'm able to look at it I'm definitely going to um I'm excited to see what comes next month I for the most part enjoyed it I mean this is the first full subscription box that I've ever gotten so um because before this all I've ever gotten was the just the bag and I've never gotten anything else I'm not subscribed to BoxyCharm or anything else like that um so it was exciting to get full-size products of like luxury brands and you know I'm excited to keep getting the boxes um yeah for $159 worth of products for $25 a month that's a that's really good like I'm impressed I'm excited to keep trying the products and see like what else I can work with especially with this this one here but you know the more I look at my face the more I'm like you know I kind of I kind of like the complexion I'm not I'm, it's it's not bad you know like I think it's where it I'm getting I'm getting used to it but anyways this is I'm super like rosy right now and it's hot in here <laughs> but this is the finished look I hope you guys enjoyed this video if you did go ahead and give it a thumbs up and make sure you subscribe to my channel if you haven't already and we'll see you next time